was how many times were issues actually called in by the Conservative members and how many times did they bring those issues to council with their complaints. Looking at the record, there were not many call-ins. A lot of criticism has been made about recent budgets, but last year's budget was voted for by all parties. So we're all guilty in a way of trying to keep as many things going as possible for as long as possible in the hope of helping our residents, which was the purpose of last year's budget. This year's budget, thanks to detailed work between the parties, does save the maintenance in the parks. It did and does keep crossing patrols where we can staff them. But where there's a concern and risk mentioned by Councillor Kelly, by Councillor Cleary and others, is this sort of ping pong, a risk of ping pong, moving, move, moving resources round without fair discussion. And that's a risk for us going forward. So the libraries need study is that the most detailed report I had seen about libraries that came to committee with a projected way forward that needs treating fairly. As someone who was very much involved in the last debate about libraries and uh, went to the Chartres inquiry and gave evidence, then I can see that the process we've started has every potential to be fairer, so please don't wreck it. I want to pay thanks to Councillor Gorman and Councillor Camphor for their major maiden speeches. Also, mention was made of Councillor Hale, who I probably knew over many years and often um, very thoughtful, very determined, very astute, and in fact, very financially aware member of the council. Unfortunately, people often portrayed him as a sort of calculating machine, and I think he invented the phrase con um, about compensatory savings, which lasted for years and years. We used to talk about compensatory savings. But I just want to talk about some facts before I give up. And that is the fact about the usage of Brackenwood Golf Course, Mr. Mayor. I've looked at the table of figures supplied by officers. So in June 2019, 1550 users, 3,356 this June. In July 2019, 2,225 users, to, and this year, 2,625, 2021. And in 2019, 2,051 in August, rising to 3,099 in 2021. And in September uh, in 2019, 1193, rising to 2,432. So there is a case to look at that usage. There is a case to say that it, if we shut it suddenly, close it suddenly, then operators would be less interested in it. A course that's going to be left fallow for some months might not be that attractive. So where we have choices, let's make one that puts a course that looks as though it's progressing into continued use. We can rewild parts, adjust parts, help the wildlife to return to parts, but it would be a facility for that community. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.